Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the transient analysis of 2 input NOR gate. Here 2 input NOR gate the 2 NMOS type. NMOS NOR gate. Okay, we definitely name it as NMOS NOR gate because CMOS NOR gate is also available. CMOS NOR gate means in the pull up place we use BMOS transistors, in the pull down place we use NMOS transistors. But whereas in the NMOS type, NMOS NOR gate, NMOS NAND gate, in such cases we completely use NMOS devices. Pull up transistor is made up of a depletion mode NMOS transistor and a pull down transistor is made up of enhancement mode NMOS transistors. Okay, so definitely we have to name it as NMOS NOR gate, two input NMOS NOR gate. Now for that, uh, we have seen a generalized architecture in the previous video, how to design a, a N input NOR gate. And for that NOR gate, we have considered from that we have considered a two input NOR gate and we are going to analyze what is the total uh, parasitic effect presented in that NOR gate. Okay, so first let us see the basic structure of NMOS two input NMOS two input NOR gate. So NMOS two input NOR gate consisting of a depletion mode NMOS transistor. A depletion mode is nothing but we have to show a channel at the gate layer and this VG terminal should be connected to source because as this transistor is operated in the depletion mode there is no significance of applying the input voltage because the transistor itself is operated in the on state in on state saturation region. So we no need to apply again uh, a power supply here so that's why simply we give this gate terminal to zero or otherwise we can also connect this to here source so that gate and source are connected and this potential is zero and remaining these terminals is connected to as how many transistors we have two input so two input nor gate means two transistors we need two both are nmos transistors that are n type NMOS enhancement mode so two input means A and this is B and these two are connected here ground so this is output Y so this Y is equal to A plus B whole bar we know when the NMOS transistors in the pull down transistor in the pull down place when they are connected in parallel it realizes plus symbol it gives you plus symbol okay so y is equal to a plus b whole bar y is equal to a plus b whole bar see this is the enhancement mode n mos this is the enhancement mode n mos and whereas this is depletion mode n mos in depletion mode channel is already formed this is vdd and the bottom one is ground okay now when we take consider when we consider a parasitic effect so with the parasitic capacitors uh, with the parasitic capacitors we can draw the two input n mos nor gate as see here same circuit same circuit now we are going to include where the parasitic effects occurred parasitic effect is nothing but parasitic capacitance parasitic capacitance so capacitance is nothing but whenever two conducting layers are passing side by side then there exists a capacitance okay see whenever a two layers of capacitance two layers of capacitance i will draw here see uh, it is a metal layer metal one layer it is also a conducting layer let it be a metal one if the distance between these two layers is just less than the prescribed one less than the prescribed one then definitely there exists some parallel plate effect parallel plate effect separated by a dielectric medium air then there exists a capacitance then there exists a 
capacitance such type of capacitance is nothing but parasitic effect parasitic capacitance so we generally in the vlsa research we generally consider we have several tools like uh, cadence mentor graphics synopsis semica several uh, uh, tools are there microwind in all those tools we are first designing a schematic diagram in terms of transistor later we go for the design of a layout circuit diagram in the layout circuit diagram once the circuit is completed the next step is to check the design rules after that lvs and after that facts parasitic extraction the last step in the layout design is the extraction of parasitic components present in the circuit okay pex is nothing but parasitic extraction which gives the amount of resistance and the amount of capacitance present in the circuit and where the capacitance and resistances are presented in the circuit that will be obtained by using the pex effect parasitic capacitance so this is very important because because of the existence of the parasitic effect the output may be delayed okay uh, if you are expecting the output to be expected like this a sudden change at t is equal to some zero when we apply with a parasitic effect the output will be like this this delay this delay is due to the existence of capacitance and resistance this delay is due to the existence of capacitance and resistance okay we are expecting this one but we have got this one after the circuit is designed because of the existence of parasitic components like resistance and capacitance okay this is due to this one whenever two layers are passing side by side there exists some capacitance so in the circuit design we have uh, several layers that are pass crossing in the entire uh, silicon wafer so that some amount of uh, capacitance is going to be existed now uh, we are going to see where are the possible what are the possible extents that the capacitance is existed in the given circuit for that we have considered instead of taking a two input uh, uh, sorry three terminal device we are taking the substrate also because whenever the substrate uh, capacitance effect is to be considered then we have to consider the substrate effect also the substrate of course it is connected to ground and we have a capacitance here that is existed between this substrate and the source so css which is connected between these two these are virtual capacitors not physical capacitors we are not connecting them these are formed because of the short terminals this is vdd and we have a capacitance existed between gate and drain so this called G cgd cgd between gate and drain and of course this is connected to source and coming to the other two transistors in the pull down place so here we have a substrate terminal substrate and again drain we have a capacitor this is connected to ground here it is another voltage b here it is another voltage a here one more capacitance is there c gd that is existed for this transistor and this is c gd that is existed for this transistor a and it may be b and this terminal is connected here this is ground and all these terminals are grounded as per the regular now we have a output here v out or y again we have some output capacitance c out output capacitance c out okay generally we consider the c out for all the circuit because because they are existed when we are connecting them in a series circuit okay then we are connecting them in a series combination one minute ok 
okay so when we are connecting the output in a cascade format one output of the circuit is connected to another circuit's input then we have to use this output capacitance also so all these capacitors are existed in a general way when we are designing a circuit okay now this circuit can be modeled as can be simply drawn as before this is b this is a and we have a channel here in the depletion mode transistor it is fed back and this is the output okay now this output is extended and shown a load capacitance c load which is connected between output and output and ground now all the parasitic capacitors what we have discussed in the previous slide are combined into a lumped capacitance combined into a lumped capacitance that is connected between output node and ground okay so all the parasitic capacitors are lumped group lumped into one capacitance and is connected between where it is connected output and ground and is connected between output terminal y and ground so that is equal to c load is equal to so what are the capacitors we have mentioned c g d for <coughs> transistor a and CGD for transistor B plus CGD, CGD which is a load capacitance plus CDB which is A plus CDB which is B plus CS substrate, yes, yes, so we have mentioned in that and any wiring capacitance if it is present, any wiring capacitance is present that also mentioned in this. Okay, the load capacitance at the output node of the equivalent inverter, so corresponding to this NOR gate is always larger than this lumped capacitance. Okay, so if any load capacitance is connected, that should be always larger than this lumped capacitance. Okay, so this is about the internal capacitance of the or transient analysis of the NOR gate. Thank you.